In this video, I'm going to show you how to release the perimeter bonding of a catcher's mitt on this super nice Marucci 235 seat one. In case you missed the last video, I did the uh, the palm and the hinge. So go back and watch that if you missed it. I'm going to start on the finger side. And if you look on your glove, you probably have an indentation of two laces going into one hole. If you look on the pictures you took beforehand, hopefully, or look one up online, you'll, that'll be your starting point. So we're actually gonna start on the inside, right here. Don't need the scissors anymore. All right. Don't pull it all the way through. You can leave about enough to cover two holes. So about right there. I should hold it nice and firmly. So now we're gonna go over. And back and through that same hole. All while keeping that on the inside of the glove. to where it used to be. You don't want to squeeze this to death or pull this to death rather. It's a nice firm hold right there. Let me get it on camera. That's good. You don't want it moving, but you don't want it too tight. Now, I'm just gonna lace this up hole by hole. Next one, not the next. You want to stay on the, the outside of that lace. To the left of it, if you're looking at it like that. So this is gonna rope it in to hold it. So this one don't come out. It's kind of like a hidden heel lace. Same concept. On we go. Using 3 16 inch lace again for the binding. And we're going to be using quarter inch in the web area. Next hole. And so on. You definitely want to start with a, a full 72 inch piece on this part. talking about the palm video if you get it a little too tight like I definitely did here so definitely take that slack out all right I fast forwarded to the end so you wouldn't fall asleep on me if you look on your gloves either before or after but via X where this binding and that the other side binding will intersect right here. It'll create an X. That is where you're going to stop. Should come out this hole right here. These are going this way. So it looks like it goes one more time.
it will tie off right here. So go ahead and measure about four inches for the nut. And move to the other side. And just so you know, I used uh, pretty much all of that 72 inch lace. That's all I have left from that one side. So you don't want to switch your needle over to a new 72 inch piece. And before I do the thumb side binding, I'm going to go ahead and do this part where the binding crosses the web because I can already tell by looking at it, it'll be next to impossible to do with that side done because this model, the lace doesn't come through at all. It's pretty slick. But that looks like a challenge to lace. We'll see if we can figure it out. Go in here first, judging by the picture. Coming out right there. And we're gonna loop over. This is probably where it's going to get rough to do on camera. Going in here. That's tough. Okay. Definitely double check your lace before you pull it on here because it is going to be impossible to Pull back through. <clears throat> okay. There it is, I messed up. Let's see if we can fix that. Telling you to double check, I still messed up, but that's the way it goes sometimes. But you can give it a little twist and pull at the same time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This next one, kind of the same deal here. My goodness. resistance for such supple leather. Try not to hit yourself in the face on this. <clears throat> I've done that more times than I care to admit. All right, I'm using 3 16 inch again. That's what it looks like the Maruchi uses. This doesn't receive any tension just holds the binding to that web. Now, this part scares me. Oh, we made it. Let's hope that'll come out the other side. Do this off camera. Okay, I got it through. Put a little extra muscle on that one. Now this should come out. This next hole right here. twist Get kind of a mirror image of the other side okay this looks very difficult Hmm. 
very glad I caught myself before I did the other side of that perimeter because I would not be able to do this as I figured. Okay, if your glove has lace that goes to the palm side, then consider yourself very lucky. This is a challenge. But it looks really cool. At the same time, okay. Where is the hole? There it is. Looking good so far. Finishing up right here. How'd that get twisted? Here we go. it off with a single knot. I like to make it look kind of the opposite of the other side. Looks really cool on the catcher's mitt. And that section is done. Now, onto the thumb perimeter. Now for the thumb side binding. I'm gonna start in the next hole if you already did this web piece like I did. If not, just look. Same concept as the other side. Two laces going into one hole is your starting point. But we're gonna start on the inside. And come out right there. Using another 72 inch piece for this side because it's going to take up quite a bit as well. Go ahead and go two holes with that side as well. We're going to trap it with the spiral we're creating. Going in the same hole. Make sure it's relatively tight. Just have a little give to it, not much at all. And when you move on to the next hole, make sure you're going underneath that lace. You want it inside the spiral. Sometimes it wants to peek out like that, you can just poke it back in. Get in there. I'm going to continue on and meet you at the end. All right, I made it to the end. The hole right before we're going to X these two. So I'm going to take the lace going right here. Come out. I'm going to try to get in front of that one. So where the knot will look nice and pretty at the end. Easier said than done. I could peek in there. Maybe not. Try to 
twist to make some room. There it is. Going in. vast majority of catcher's mitts end like this with the X on the side. Some of them tuck the lace under kind of like the heel. Just pay attention to which style your glove uses. This one will become a knot. I won't be tucking it. So to finish up that X, you can see where it was when it was first laced. It's going in here. right here. Kind of cover up where the lace was to get it nice and right. There we go. And that side is done. I'm going to show you how it turned out. this, match it up to the other one, and this side has even less lace than the other, so good thing to go with the 72 inch pieces for both sides. And that's the end of the perimeter binding lacing, next up will be the web.